When I think shitty cartoons from my youth, do you know the first show that comes to mind? Yep, Captain Planet and the Planeteers. This early 90s cartoon was made so little kids would learn the evils of pollution. And when you're 8 years old, you really don't mind it. But 20 years later, after watching this show again, I wonder what the hell my problem was. This show is so horrible. And naturally, when a show becomes popular, no matter how much of a piece of shit it is, a video game isn't too far behind. And Mindscape happily obliged with a Captain Planet game for the NES. And the results are painful. I, I fucking mean it, folks. This game sucks out loud. And, like my review of Bigfoot, I'm going to break this review down into two parts. Uh, first, I'm going to cover the flying levels. In these, you control either the Geo Cruiser, the Eco Sub, or the Eco Copter. It changes from level to level. Regardless of which one of these things you're saddled with for, for each level, the control is the same. And let me just talk about the control for a second. It sucks. Honestly. Controlling these fucking things is almost painful. Honestly, guys, control is just sticky, and the ships move extremely slow. And what do you have to do with these awesome solar-powered machines that crawl at a snail's pace? Well, you're supposed to shoot as much shit as possible and dodge everything that is in sky or clouds. I mean it, guys. If you happen to hit a tree, you die. If you fly into a tunnel, you die. If you hit a chunk of ice, you die. And it wouldn't be so bad if only you had to dodge all this shit and move on to, to the next level. But no, of course, that would just be too easy. This game opts to also throw enemies at you, and they can shoot a hell of a lot further than, than you can, and you die normally with one hit. Speaking speaking of your weapons, um, you only have the use of the of the Planeteer's rings. I'm guessing that Gaia was just too busy to arm you with some kind of eco-friendly armaments, so you're stuck with just the five rings. Anyway, these powers all suck. All of them, okay, all of them have a limited limited range, and certain ones at times are just completely fucking worthless. Uh, do you happen to remember when you were a kid and you always thought that Matisse heart power was completely worthless and fucking lame? Well, this game does not go out of its way to to disprove this. I have yet to find a reason to use it in this game. All it ever does is it fires a little bitty short beam from underneath your 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 geo cruiser, and it does absolutely nothing. I'm fucking dead serious, folks. It does absolutely nothing. Uh, oh, and can you guess how you scroll through your powers to use any of them? Well, I'll tell you. You have to push start. Yeah. The button normally used to pause games only cycles through your various eco powers. And you actually pause the game with the select button. And this is extremely awkward, trust me. After years of playing games where you pause with start, this just feels completely fucking wrong where literally you actually might want to try to pause the game and you're going to instinctively push start. Instead, you're going to be cycling through your fucking weapons and you're going to die. And before anyone asks, no, you cannot cycle through your powers when the game is actually paused. You have to do it in the heat of combat. So let's just so let's just review everything that I've said so far. You have to dodge everything in sight, shoot as many enemies as possible with, which come your way, and scroll through your five available abilities at the exact same time. You're doing all this shit at once, and this will oftentimes lead to frequent death. I'm so happy that this game has passwords, or or else this review would consist entirely of my fucking eco cruiser crashing again and again and again. Uh, the other part of this game, uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump over to part two now, uh, has you controlling the title character himself. Captain Planet! <laughs> Captain Planet! Yeah. Anyway, every one of these levels starts off with the same cutscene, and you can't skip it. But this is actually a good thing. Because this short little Captain Planet summoning sequence is the most entertaining part of, of this game. And that's pretty sad. Now similar, now, similar to the levels I've already talked about, Captain Planet also controls for shit and only has the use of the five Planeteer powers. But the good Captain also has a punch. It, it really doesn't do, do much, but at least it's something. 
and these levels are not as frantic as, as the flying stages, but let me just tell you guys, these levels are equally as fucking annoying. You have to fly around small corridors, avoiding everything that looks like toxic goo. Except in this level, where you aren't allowed to touch rock. This asshole has the power of the earth at, at his disposal, and a piece of rock just sitting, on, just sitting on the ground will kill him? What fucking bullshit, man? This... Oh, God. And to add, and add to all this fun, you have these blockades which you have to pass. Now, the only way to get past them is to use one of your five powers to move past it. Normally, you just use water. Everything else will will result in instant death. Uh, now let's go back to this. Now let, let's go back to this rock level. Do you see? Do you see this column of falling rocks? You'd almost think that using the earth power, turning into a giant rock and flying past it would would work, right? <laughs> Wrong. You need to use water to get past these to get past these rocks. Again, to me, this is just bullshit. I don't know why. I just feel that way. And to add to all this fun, Captain Planet's power meter is slowly ticking down. So you have to kill all the enemies and hope that and hope that the right power up appears. Otherwise, you'll be stuck at one of these barricades and. You, and you'll have no power to get past them. Then the only thing you can do is fly into them and die, resurrect, and then and then when you're still temporarily in, invincible, just fly right through it. This game is total shit, guys. There is no other way to put it. Motley, dude, finish off this thing for me, would you? Uh, Motley? Uh, Motley, dude, where the hell is he? The, what the fuck's this thing? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This game is so bad that Muttley actually left the fucking show. Captain Planet scared off my fucking mascot. You pay for this, Captain Planet!